Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. I just got back from Michael's and I spent about a hundred dollars. I think it was $98. Where's my receipt? I don't see it. Um, so I was just refilling on some basic things. I got a couple other things. Just some things I'll be needing. Oh, there's the receipt. And a few of these things will be things that you should probably have if you're going to be following along some art tutorials on my channel. So I just thought I'd show you guys what I get and I'd do like an unboxing and testing all my new materials because that's always what I do when I get new materials. So the first thing is a sketchbook. Uh, this is my favorite type of sketchbook. It's Strathmore um, 60 pounds, which is... A measurement of like how thick the paper is so I am gonna christen my sketchbook I always like to write my name inside and for that I'm gonna use some of my supplies that I bought today so today when I went out I really wanted to get um, a new sharpie set of 12 because fairly affordable I think a lot of people can get one of these and then we can make some basic art some beginner art with that the sketchbook was $15 um, if you had gone to Dick Blicks or something like um a different kind of art supply store where they buy in bulk then you probably could have gotten it for seven or nine dollars but i had to go to michael's because there are no dick blicks in idaho so um i went to michael's in Curdaline. so these are interesting this was 26.99 for this set of sharpies and they are brush tip which i've never tried before so that's exciting i love a brush tip on a brush pen so why wouldn't I love it on something with color uh, I haven't even thought about how I'm gonna store these once I open them <laughs> so how fun would it be just to, not to make a color wheel but ooh, pretty pretty colors I love sharpies they kind of set me free as an artist I don't know, like no overthinking, just straight up bright colors. What more could you ask for? Okay, so. Let's, uh, shall we zoom in a little bit? Here, I'll do this. my name and see what this brush tip looks like oh that's interesting huh how neat is that I'm gonna zoom in some more on this although the focus isn't there a focus yeah focus oh there we go I wish I didn't kill my lamp in the other video. <laughs> so I'm going to write my name. Liz. Oh, okay. They're still pretty stiff. And of course these are brand new. So um, the tips are pretty sharp. And I'll do my other, my last name in a different font yeah that's nice I like that um, if you don't like soft tips on your markers you probably won't like these I'm just gonna test each one just for the sake of the color reference so this is a nice deep royal blue next up looks like kind of a turquoise or sky blue I'm going to overlap them with each other a little bit just 
to see how they blend. Now we've got sort of a forest green. Ooh, that's really dark. That's a lot of pigment. And then we have a bright sort of lime green. Wow, yeah, these have a lot of color in them and a lot of, it looks like alcohol. I mean, Sharpies are known as alcohol-based markers and that's why they blend so well together. When you have water-based markers, they're typically a little more streaky and they leave lines. I'm gonna use a lot of yellow because I wanna see how it mixes with a bunch of all other colors. Putting it over the blue is kind of interesting. We get this like olive green color. You know, over the dark green. Can't really see it. I mean, the alcohol sort of dissolves the dark green and picks it up and allows me to move it into the yellow up here. Here, I'll zoom in some more. See how I picked up some of the green. So these are looking great so far. I'm so happy. I've almost never, I don't think I've ever unboxed Sharpies and like been unhappy. Okay. So the orange is just a little bit more saturated with the yellow. And we've got some magenta. Obviously the orange could really darken that up if I wanted to use it for shading. Like if someone was wearing a magenta dress and I needed some shadows, I could definitely combine it with the orange like that. That looks great. Yeah. Oh, here's a really dark magenta. What do you, what do they call this? It's not even labeled. Ooh, oh, I remember this color. This is a color that has been in the Sharpie color range for a long time. I've been using this color since like elementary school. Ooh, it's so nice and deep. This is like a true quincidone, quincidone, I don't know how they say it, but it's a real true magenta. This is like a fuchsia. Okay, and now we've got this super dark purple. This is also something I'm used to working with from Sharpie. Love this. This is like a really deep violet. Beautiful. And when you combine it with this, with the magenta, and it makes this really deep purple brown that I like a lot. Okay, and then of course we have none other than just good old fire engine red. Hmm. This one doesn't seem to have as much liquid in it. Yeah, this one's a little dried out. Can you see that? I don't know why this one, but you see the tip is much lighter than the rest. The autofocus isn't going to work out, but, <laughs> um, huh. well, that's too bad. I usually use up red pretty quick, so maybe I'll order a few more red Sharpies. And then of course we have brown. Nice. I'll put that over the red to see what that looks like. Not much difference, really covers it up. Okay, and then of course, black. So this is a great color range. Lights to darks, really saturated yellows, really saturated warm tones very cool cool tones 
I'm happy with it. I'm so excited to start making things with you guys with my Sharpies. You definitely won't need brush tip Sharpies for anything we'll be doing in the future. You can just use regular Sharpies. Okay, what else is in this bag? Uh, next up we have our gel pen. So I grabbed some Jelly Roll. What do you know? Uh, they have a little place to test them. So naturally I did. Um, and I thought the Uni Ball and the Jelly Roll were pretty comparable. I liked the Uni Ball better. I also got some regular tip black Sharpies and some fine tip Sharpies. Um, I think everyone who wants to try out cartooning or uh, professional illustration should start out with these. They're just a great basic inking, big lines and small lines. Um, great for beginners. So this is the Uniball gel pen. I really wanted a white gel pen to add, um, just to add like snow, um, light reflections, sparkles, smoke, uh, uni rain, all, all kinds of things, all kinds of effects can be added to comics with something white. And I really needed something super opaque. I didn't have anything like that. Acrylic paints won't do. Probably acrylic paint pens, like a Posca pen would be great. Um, they didn't have any Poscas at the Michaels I went to. <laughs> so that's the Uniball pen. As you can see, it's quite opaque. It's very pigmented and that's exactly what I was looking for. But they also have these Jelly Roll pens, which are almost exactly the same. They're qu not quite as opaque, but, um, Uniball doesn't have the different thicknesses and these came in three different thicknesses. So naturally I got these since I feel they're pretty comparable. And I haven't had one of these in years. I li I've actually never done the like white little accents on my art before. I've seen other artists do it for years and I always thought it would be so cool. And I just couldn't decide on if I was going to get a pasta pen or what kind of gel pen I wanted, but a lot of people are just using cheap gel pens, so why don't I do that? Um, okay, so here we've got a 10, an 8, and a 5, so we'll just do the 10 right next to the uni ball. So you can see it's not quite... not quite as pigmented as the uni ball, but pretty close. Um, the camera lens is kind of increasing the contrast a little, so you can't see the difference as well. But here's the 05, much finer. And here's the 08. So, um, as you can see, the uni ball is pretty close to the 10. It's not quite, it's probably, if I had to say what thickness this is, this is probably a 09. It's just slightly less thick than the 10 from the jelly roll, but I think all three of these pens are going to serve me well in the future. So I'm excited about that. That turned out great. I'm going to unbox my Sharpies now so I can show you the difference between um, a fine tip Sharpie and a regular Sharpie. So I'm opening my fine tip Sharpies now. And these were, let me see. Okay, so the Jelly Roll pens were $5 for a pack of three. Um... The Uniball was $4 for one pen, because with art you basically get what you pay for most of the time. Um, the pack of two fine tip Sharpies was $3.49, and the pack of two 
regular Sharpies was also $3.49. So, if they don't have these at your Michaels, start a riot. Um, just kidding. Don't destroy other people's property. Okay, now that I'm rid of my trash, here we have our regular Sharpies. You could go very fine with them when they're brand new because the tip is nice and tight. The side is about that. And then if you really put it on its side, you can get a nice thick line. So that's why those are great for beginner beginner inkers because you can get this nice varied quality of line and then the fine tips the only thing I don't like about the fine tips is you can't really use them on something less thick than sketch paper because they bleed so much they're so bleedy like the slower you ink with them, the more is gonna come out onto the page. And some people love that. That can make a very line quality very easy for some people if you just slow down. But for me, I don't like a lot of bleed. I'd rather put in a ton of tiny lines and build up my shades very gradually rather than like put down too much at once. Um, but my weakness is not shading enough, so I might as well just force myself to use more ink and use a really bleedy pen like this. <laughs> so here are two things you want to add to your repertoire, to your cheap art supplies collection as we move forward on this channel. Um, okay, so that's basically it for my basic supplies, just my sketchbook and my Sharpies and my gel pens. Um, and now we're gonna, just gonna, I'm just gonna show you a couple goodies I got myself, so. Now the Rona! Okay, um, Ash Bird Orange, five bucks. So these little birdies. I've got these little birdies. They're fat, fat little birdies. <laughs> I love fat little birds. And I have this hat that has like, it's a straw hat with um, autumn leaves on it. So I'm going to put those on my hat. <laughs> It'll be so cute. <laughs> and then the last thing I bought, there's nothing else in here, right? Yeah. Um, it's something that I've put off buying for a long time because, um, well, I just thought if I had one, I would go really out of control with it. And now I just don't care anymore. Uh, I guess I just have turned into someone who wants to watch the world burn and that's a glue gun. Yeah. <laughs> Now I can stick anything on anything. I got this for decorating my hat, but who knows what could happen. I showed this to my husband and I was like, um, so I didn't buy one of these for a long time. I bought something today that I didn't buy for a long time because I thought if I had one, I'd be out of control. And he was like, what is it? And I go, a glue gun. And he's like, you might be out of control. <laughs> He was ready to laugh it off, and then he was like, this might be a problem. Um, definitely not going to be a problem. And look at all the glue I got. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, it's sparkly. I didn't notice that. <laughs> I'm definitely out of control. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me uh, for another video. And um, I hope you enjoyed this haul unboxing with me. I've never done one of these before. So let me know if you liked it or not in the comments. I'll, I can definitely make more of these if people like them. So thank you for joining me. Please uh, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. 
You can go to my Instagram, which is Liz the Lazy Cat, all one word. You can also find me on TikTok as Liz the Lazy Cat. If you want to read my comic, Atheist Afterlife, that's on the Webtoon app. And it, I will leave a link to my website with my other comics in the description box below. So click the little downwards arrow and that'll take you there. Um, thanks a lot. Ciao.